Hey everyone, welcome back to more StarCraft Brood War. We're on mission four of the Terror Campaign. Let's go! Assault on Core Hall. Captain, once again, your leadership has set a fine example to the rest of my officers. Vice Admiral Stukov has informed me that the site is rubbed and has been accounted for. So we can now proceed with the next phase of our operation. The time has come to begin our primary invasion of the Dominion throne world of Korra. Alexei, fill the captain in on the current situation. As you may know from your research, Captain, Korra was a hotbed of anti-Confederate sentiment for years. The Confederacy hoped to contain Korra's civil unrest by decimating it and its population with a massive nuclear barrage. The radiation levels on the planet are at an all-time low. Its surface is now nothing more than a smoldering desert. The catch, Admiral, is that because this world has already been devastated by nuclear fire, Minsk has no compunction against using nukes on us. We have detected a large cluster of missile silos on the outskirts of Augustcrat. If those silos were destroyed, we believe that Minsk would lose his core nuclear capabilities. We also face a different obstacle, Captain. Intelligence has informed us that Minsk employs multiple battle cruisers for his planetary defense. It is possible to nullify these battle cruisers by taking out strategic physics labs. Without these labs, Minsk will be unable to power up his ship's weapon systems. Though we know how to compensate for Minsk's defenses, we don't have enough time to follow through on them both. Therefore, Captain, you must choose to either counter his nuclear capabilities or his battle cruisers. Once you've taken care of this operation, we can begin to plan our final assault against August Grant. All right, you heard the men. Options speed, sound, you don't mess around with speed. Not in the slightest. And that should be in. All right, let's get into it. Um, I am very unsure of how I want to tackle this. Uh, well, I know what I want to do. I want to destroy the nuclear labs. Like, I don't want to deal with nukes. Like, straight and simple. Valkyrs are much more okay fighting because, um, meh. They seem pretty trivial. And I remember the last time when I did this on my, like, original Brew War campaign, I did mech. I might do that again, depending... I'm not sure though, it's hard to say. We have a lot of minerals, so that's good. Let's get some infantry upgrades to start off with. I don't know we use infantry. I'm not I'm not sure, man. There's a lot of ways we can take this, but um one of the reasons why I like this mission is because they give you choices. So it's like you can either destroy the physics lab, which I think are up here, or the nuke styles, which are down here. Uh and Whatever you choose to do will have an impact on the next mission, which I think is awesome. Um, which I really like that. I kind of wish in StarCraft they did more of those kinds of missions where it's like, oh, here, you can either choose to do this or that, but it's going to have consequences for the next uh, mission. Like, meaningful choice in games is something I'm really uh, passionate about. It's simply because, like, I, I feel like it's, um... You have more... I'm trying to think of, like why I like it. Like, I think just like as humans having the um, the freedom of choice is something that we're always going to appreciate. Um, oops, what are we doing? So I think from that perspective, that's why I enjoy these kinds of missions. But it, like, it also results in a more unique experience. Like someone else might say, "Hey, like I." I'm fine with the nukes, but I won't get rid of the bow cruisers, so they might go ahead and do that. And they're going to have a very different experience than I will, because they've uh, chose to do things differently. Which, again, is pretty cool, in my mind. So what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to skimp on the... Um, oh. Blue. I can say blue confederates. Blue fire bats. Kids mining. And so I think we're going to be using uh, using a lot of 
infantry is that we haven't really used mech. No, we'll do mech next mission. We'll do mech next mission. Don't worry. We'll do mech next mission. Um, that's what I think we'll do infantry. Actually, let's see if we can do exclusively infantry. We may not, we may not be able to, though. And I think... So, the thing for this... The reason why I like this... Uh, the choice they gave us here is because it seems like it's a meaningful choice. At the very least. Like, I think some games, they give you the, the illusion of choice. Like, so for example, for this one, it's like, oh, there's two there's two bridging conditions. Um, but no matter what you do, the next mission is going to be the same mission anyways. Um, that, I'm less into because... It feels like you get cheated, right? So it's like, oh, cool, like, here's some choice I can actually have in this, but then you go ahead and do it, and then it's just saying, no, that you actually didn't have but you didn't as much choice as you thought you would have. Also, we're going to push out once we get a full, uh, full group of Marines here. Just go scout the area. And with Marine Medic, we might be able to do it. I'm a little hesitant, though. Alright, let's go. You know, you should leave that alone, sir. Good sir. Alright, I guess we'll just take circle this way then. Uh, and we can get fire bats. Wouldn't be opposed to that. I want more SCVs though. And I want to find another base. What's up here? Three tanks. Well, we're not going there. We are going to leave those guys alone. We're not even going to consider attacking them, to be honest. That's just going to be a, that'll be a mess. So let's head down here. And I think it's always, like, it's hard to give players a lot of choice. Like, a lot of, like, quote unquote being put towards. And you might say it's like, even though they only had like the mission objectives and the end result was like you end up in the same mission anyways, you might say like that's um, still meaningful choice because it gave you a different way from completing the mission. But um, it doesn't feel nearly as impactful. Look at that, that looks like a sandworm. Wait, is this just it right here? Okay, well, there's an expo here. So we'll definitely take this. Yeah, I don't know what those guys are up to. That's, um, hmm. Don't like that one bit. We'll give our max more energy too. Get spend our money on something. Um, because the more choice you give, the more exponential of um, branches you'll have for said choice. Like, so for this mission, because they gave me two choices, the, the developers had to program an extra mission for that. So even though like. The Terran campaign is only like X amount of missions long. Because we have choice in this mission, now they have to do an extra whole mission, which, um, you know, that's not that bad. But then once you start to think about it, if they went further. So the effects of this mission, they only have an impact on the next mission. They don't carry over till like the next mission after that. So for that reason, it's like, okay, you only have to worry about the mission, you know, the next mission, uh, which is fine, but. Once you get further, so if we had, oh dear, they are slaughtering my little SCVs. Hey, don't don't run to the guys, guys. Thank you. And then you can just land there. And we're going to need a lot of men to take their uh, their base. That's how it is. 
So uh, as I was saying, so if they did like for three missions, and it depends how they do it, right? So if they had like the choices from this mission carry on to the mission thereafter, and like, that was it, then that's not really like too much because like say you get two different choices, but the effect of the next two missions, like well, you're only really doing like the two extra missions based on the choices, right? And you may be saying, well, why not? You're why not? say that they're doing two extra missions like well if you think about it they were gonna have to have those missions anyways for the um oh, what was i saying they're, they were gonna have to have those missions anyways because you know players are gonna play those games And the double upgrades will be ready to attack. So I think with the 2-2, two, two, we could go. But, okay, here's where like things get exponential. So, if they had choices... So let's say we have the like, three missions. You have choices in the first, like, two. Let's actually, let's keep it simple, right? There's two choices you can make in the first mission. And there's two choices you make in the second mission. And they all have an impact, like, just on the next mission. So I'm like, mission three. So then once you get to mission three... You can have, so... Well, let's, let's go through this in sequential order. So, for the first mission, you have the two choices. So, you're going to have two different like missions for mission two. We'll call it mission B for simplicity. So, we all have to have two missions for mission B. But then, mission B has two different things that you can do for mission uh, C. So, already... So... Mission B, there's going to be two different levels. But then for Mission C, you're going to have to have four different levels. For all the choices that you could have. Your real sense or some extra Marines. Do I have any medics coming? Yes, we do. Just so that we don't end up dying. And you were like... With... Whoa, hey there. I didn't realize he was so close. He didn't do very well. And like, it gets up. Oh, man, I keep doing that a lot. It gets even more absurd from there, like, the further you take that. Because it's like, oh, yeah, like, it's only. We just get comps at station two. Like, even if this, those two choices, like, I've already described a situation where we have had to create so many more extra missions. But then you start to think, well, what we had three um, choices in the first mission. Then you're like, wow, like, gee, like, there's a lot more you could have done with that. Because it's like, so let's say first mission had three choices. Then you have had to have three different sets for mission B. Three different missions. You guys need to go get a hobby. And we'll actually build a missile turret. There he is. All right. And uh, more Marines. Jump building. So, three missions for mission B. But then you have like two of the three, each with like two different outcomes. Um, with three choices, each with two extras. So then, yeah, you open at six, and then the further you go, the like just the more outrageous it gets. Like it's um, it's absurd. All right, we're gonna attack with all of this and see what happens. If they have tanks, we're screwed. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen. But hope isn't really a good battle plan. I don't think. Yeah, so they have a tank, so we're, um, I don't think we're going to be able to break this, in all honesty. We're going to throw a lot more Marines at it. Or, or unless we, like, start doing stuff like this. Okay, we can, we can do it, we can do it. Is 
So apparently they did a little better than I thought they were going to. Oh wow. My base is getting pillaged, isn't it? Where are you guys? You're meeting the defense safety squad. That's fine, everything's fine. Oh, we can optical flare. Hold on, yeah, we can just do that. Where's the academy? Here it is. Uh, we're gonna send some guys for repairs, but that's alright. Yeah, I totally forgot we could just optical flare stuff. Doi. The Doinga. Boy, don't I feel like a silly goose. And actually, we should build another couple of barracks here just so we don't have the same thing happen again. And we have plenty of minerals, so we're not gonna run out anytime soon. Up to the fire finishes, we're gonna be in a very good spot. Because all we just need to do is blind the tanks, then don't have to worry about them. Boy, don't I feel dumb. Yeah, I, I can't believe I never thought of that. How? How does he get up there? Well, whatever, he's gone now. And so, like, as far as, like, choices go, like, going way back to the discussion, um, that's why I understand they don't do a lot for... Or they don't do a lot of choices like that often, so I think that's why when we do get it, it's such a treat, because it's like, well, like, we just don't get that very often. Okay, we had about 110 last time. We might, we might need a bit more, but I'm gonna go scout. Um, honestly, if we just blind the tanks, I think we're gonna be safe for any we can just roll them over. Alright, so we have no idea what they have over there. Um, Who's shooting at them? Oh, he's stealth. Oh, he knows to run away. Cheeky bugger. And uh, we need more supply depots. Alright, well, let's try this meat grinder one more time. Hey now. We'll keep the medics in the um. There you go. Get out of your tank. Actually, I think this is going to be a pretty short mission. And everything's falling apart. That's okay. Actually, we'll just use the Marines. Come on. Come here. I mean, Marines aren't dogs. Oh, dear. And they're hoops. Cool, victory. That was a very short mission. I thought it was going to be taking us a lot longer than that, but no, we 
Oh, it's Marsaro. What? That's weird. Anyways, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.